Welcome to Seacoast Real Estate Academy. Today in our math tutorial series, we will review annual property tax prorations in a real estate settlement. To view the previous videos regarding property tax calculation and the tax timetable, check out the links in the description or the playlist in the top right corner. Before we move to calculations, we must understand that the tax timeline will help us determine if taxes will be credited or debited to the buyers and sellers. A debit is the money owed at closing, while a credit is the money received. There are three scenarios. Number one, before September 1st, taxes are typically not paid. The seller must pay their portion. Buyer will receive a credit of this amount. Number two, after September 1st and taxes have been paid by seller, the seller will receive a credit for the time the buyer owns the property. Buyer must pay for their portion. And number three, after September 1st and taxes due, not yet paid. Double debit, seller debit and buyer debit for each of their portions, paid by closing attorney. This video is meant to prepare you for the licensing exam, which will use 360 days per year, 30 days per month when calculating proration. If you are taking a post-license class, the calculations will be based on a full calendar year. Here are the formulas for prorated taxes. You can adjust these to find monthly and weekly bills as well. Simply divide by 52 weeks or 12 months instead. Let's do a question together. A closing is set for October 30th. Taxes will be paid at closing for a property in the county assessed at $200,000. The city tax rate is 0.35 per $100 and the county tax rate is 0 0.70 per $100. How will taxes be handled at closing? First, let's find the important details. The home is found in the county with a tax rate of 0 0.70 per $100, so no city tax will need to be calculated. The home closes on October 30th and taxes will be paid at closing. This will be a double debit. Both buyer and seller are debited at closing. The seller will owe 300 days and the buyer will owe 60 days. Now that we know how many days are owed, let's find the total property tax due. $200,000 divided by 100 times 0 0.70 equals the tax bill, $1,400. $1,400 divided by 360 equals the daily amount 3.889. 3.889 times 300 equals the prorated amount $1,166.67 for the seller. Once we find the amount for the seller, we can take the full amount and subtract the seller payment. $1,400 minus $1,166.67 equals $233.33. The seller is left with a debit of $1,166.67 and the buyer has a debit of $233.33. If you like this video, feel free to share it with a friend. For more real estate education content, please subscribe to the channel. From all of us at Seacoast Real Estate Academy, thank you for watching.